taken this Mark 603 2003 Transit and our two telescopes to Spain for some dark sky magic. Terminal down to uh, France and get this Wayne's Caves show on the road. Let's go. Come on NASA bus, you've got it girl, you've got it. Not French turf, but we're we're up and rolling. A spot where there's half a dozen places. <coughs> so we've just left Dax, come down the road about 10k just to find somewhere uh, for decent coffee. It was one of the first airs on the on the main um, what do you call it, toll road. Oh, what the hell? There's a wild dog or cat or something behind me. Look. What the hell is that? Look. It's in a petrol station. No, it's coming around the bins. I'm doing my window up. That looks big. A Spanish border check. it guys we safely made it to camping hell's ports near alcanid in spain safely with two telescopes in the nasa bus uniting with our friends len and doris uh, who were really helpful in helping me navigate the best routes possible to find them uh, and so, all's well that ends well. Well, so we thought. Oh, right, well, guys, this isn't something that I was going to get the, any vlogging camera out in, at the time, but me len and doris have just had a conflab and it's not one what i wanted to hear that's for sure because basically we found out and looked at all the radars this the the nation is expecting deluge here of of big low pressure that's going to sit on the country for about seven to ten days and it's going to hit in 48 hours time absolutely appalling news for what we want to do with our telescopes of course but um yeah doris and then feel absolutely awful they 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 come down here you see every year for a good spell of time and uh you know i've come down to join them as a sort of one-off breakaway and yeah all the rest of that so it's uh, a bit disappointed to say the least so after a big conflab we decided we're, we're gonna rest up you know i'm i'm in i'm absolutely in bits i've been behind the wheel pretty much non-stop the past sort of virtually two days plus a 
you know ferry jaunt and all the rest of what comes with that and getting your kit together and everything so we're gonna now rest up and we we know we've got to head off tomorrow afternoon because in 48 hours that's when this deluge starts and we don't want to be packing up and traveling in that so we're back back up about four and a half hours across that uh, spanish french border and uh, back to just south of bordeaux region uh, in the Bordeaux region, but just south of Bordeaux. Uh, they're certainly showing more stable weather north of the border. So I think as hard as it's going to be, we're going to work our way up there. Take one pit stop en route, no doubt. And um, whether that's an overnight one, possibly is. Um, and where that is, I, I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, it's... It, rough but uh, uh gotta let that sink in right guys i'm getting rest and then uh catch up with you when we make some progress okay 510 miles later out of our spot down in spain we've come back up to the bordeaux area where we're hoping our luck the weather will be a bit better looking at the long range forecast uh, so fingers crossed we're uh, certainly well well away from the big low in Spain let's see how we go nearly there six minutes away weather is fair but it does need to get clear a little bit more but let's drive there anyway and uh, Hopefully it's the, the, the spot is suitable and we can get set up. So just to summarise, <coughs> that basically over yesterday and most of today was 540 miles back northbound to uh, this place in France, just south of Bordeaux forget the name of the village I will put it up on the screen and 95% uh, of that road is toll fast toll roads where poor NASA bus <coughs> is doing a comfortable speedy 63 mile an hour and so finally we get to the promised land in Bordeaux, where hopefully we get some astrophotography done in some nice, stable weather. So here is where we pitch up, beautiful countryside location, and uh, yeah, at this point we're just excited to get parked here, get everything set up and, and off and running. guys well we've uh, all packed up after this stop um, it's been lovely lovely bit of time here on this farm and um, yeah beautiful skies and we have battled in the in the NASA van getting um, rig number one the small rig and the, and the GA17 mount all talking properly but um, at least we've managed to get the the good old EQ6R Pro up and going uh, and, and some data in so dead chuffed and Len has also got some good data in and is, so we finally got some data in our hard drives and 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 starting to achieve what we've done all this miles of uh, traveling and and you know hard work and planning yeah it's nice to feel that it's slowly starting to pay off now it's been a long for basically if it's been like five six days nearly until we could actually just turn on that uh 
that computer and, and get the telescopes fired up into the nice dark heavens that are, that are around these areas. But dead chuffed. Let's get up to, we're going a bit further northeast where we predicted even uh, clearer and, and, and more stable conditions. So we're going to head up there. It's a good couple of, two and a half hours away. And uh, hopefully suck up some more data and get all, all four of our rigs um, pulling in some dark sky magic. So stick with us guys, let's see how we do and uh, I'll be sure to share with you anything we can muster together. I'll uh, catch up with you soon and uh, let's get let's get moving. Let's get on the road. Mm -hmm.